Well, hello, and welcome back to Mike's Garage. Today, what I thought I might do is just do a bit of a state of the fleet video, let you know what's going on with my cars, what I'm working on, what's uh, what's working, what's not working. Uh, anyway, so without further ado, let's get on and do All that. Right, now, let's start out here. I'm actually at my house right now, and uh, I have the good old 2012 Chevy Malibu. Not much really new with this. I have not really done anything with it. It actually has only gotten about 2,000 miles uh, since last year. Uh, with the pandemic nonsense, this car just did not get used because uh, this is the, uh, the little woman's car and she's been working at home. So it hasn't really been needed much. Although we've used it a little bit just so it doesn't get, you know, uh, you know rusty rotors and all that stuff from just sitting around. Uh, so anyway, the other car I have is my 2004 Mercury Sable Wagon. Let's walk over here. Unfortunately, due to the summertime, this one gets to sit outside because I usually have my convertible and one of the classics in the garage. So, again, my 2004 Sable Wagon. I haven't done a whole lot to this, just oil changes, and I put some front brakes on it. Anyway, this car has been very solid. Haven't had really much issue with it. Uh, it is a little dirty. I'm going to do, I think, a wax or detail video on it soon. Uh, but this is doing a lot of duty pulling my camper trailer. So uh, it's been a great car. Haven't had any troubles. And, uh, you know, hopefully I will have this for quite a long time to come. So let's move on to the next one. All right now, so here is my 68 Pontiac Grand Prix. Uh, this year I have really done nothing to this car. I did change the oil, and uh, that's really all I've done. Uh, I did so many things last year, around this tree, that uh, they really didn't need anything. So I've just been driving it and enjoying it, and uh, hopefully that's what I will continue to do. But as you can see, it's in great shape still. Air conditioning is working nice and cold. So, there you go. This one is in good shape. So, let's move on to the next car. Okay, now here we are at my undisclosed satellite storage location. And here we are. See my 65 Mustang is here. This car is doing really well. I haven't really done a whole lot to it this year. But uh, it has gotten a couple of things done. So let's take it outside and uh, I'll tell you what's been going on. And here we are. We'll just do a quick walk around of the 65 Mustang. Now, like I said, I haven't done too much to it this year. I did finally find a new little plug here to replace the missing one. Did that, and I don't know if you guys can see it. It's sitting a little better than maybe it was in the last video. If you noticed, the back end was a little bit saggy. So uh, I actually replaced the rear leaf springs and the front shocks, so that rides so nice now. So worth it. Anyway, not too much uh, really new going on with this car. I'll take a look inside. It's a little bit dusty, but yep. 
nothing really uh, new and exciting. So let's move on to the next car. Okay, now here we are at my shop, and uh, we are out here to go pick up my convertible. As you can see, it's back there. And uh, while we're here, I figured I'd check on one of the other vehicles in the fleet. So let's grab the keys. They're here somewhere. I think this is the one. Anyway, this is my 92 Dodge Grand Caravan. See? There it is. Car is doing okay, other than being quite a bit dirty. As this vehicle currently has no brakes. So let's see if it'll start. Okay. As you can see, little has changed in here. Okay. Whew. Oh, boy, it's hot in here. It's been here a while. There it goes. Sounds a little noisy because it does need an exhaust pipe. So. Uh, anyway, let's see here. Don't have any warning lights on on the dash, but pedal is very hard. There is no power to these brakes whatsoever. So not much I can do with this right now because the parts are not available. I'm going to have to try to find them on eBay. And uh, if I do, Chrysler does have a uh, lifetime warranty on the Bendix uh, brake system. So they will repair it if they have the parts, which they don't, which I would have to find. So anyway, <clears throat> this car is doing pretty well uh, as long as you don't have to drive it. So anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, now here we are in the shop. And as you can see, there is my 2006 Toyota Solara convertible. Not much really wrong with this car at all. Uh, I'm just driving it and enjoying it, although it's been here for about a month, uh, just because it's been raining out and the weather's been terrible, and I had no other place to put it at the time other than leave it outside, and I didn't want to do that. So uh, Anyway, the only problem I've had with this car was the uh, e small EVAP leak code came up. I don't remember what the code was, but... It turned out, after I inspected all the vacuum lines and everything like that, uh, it actually turned out to be the gas cap. I replaced the gas cap and the light went off. So uh, that's Toyota reliability for you. But anyway, we are going to take this car today and then we're going to go see yet another one of the uh, fleet. All right, now while I'm driving over to the next car, I would like to just say it is so nice to be back in this convertible. I haven't driven this car in probably about a month. The weather's been crummy. It's been raining or hot or both. And just, just so sticky and humid. It's just been awful. But it's actually kind of warm today. It's 88 degrees right now, according to the car. Yeah, but it's not so bad. You know, it could be a lot worse. But it's not humid, so, you know, it's uh, much more pleasant. But anyway, I do miss this car. It rides so great, and I have so few problems with it. I just, you know, I just enjoy it immensely. And I've got 136,357 miles on it now. And like I said, the only issue I had with it was that gas cap, which was uh, it just the rubber seal was gone. 
Now, if you ever do have to replace that on a Toyota, make sure you replace it with an OEM gas cap. Get a Toyota gas cap. Otherwise, you're going to have that code again because they don't, for some reason, they're very sensitive and they do not like aftermarket gas caps. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. So, make sure you do that and you should be okay. It is a little pricey if you buy it from a dealer. I paid $28 for a gas cap, which I think is ridiculous. But, you know, that's what parts are costing right now, if you can find them. So, it fixed the problem. No more check engine lights. So, let's continue on to the next car. Ah, uh, the sounds of the suburbs. Lawnmowers cutting grass. Anyway, here I am at uh, the next vehicle. And you guys will probably remember my 2001 Kia Sportage. This car is being borrowed right now. I haven't been driving it for quite a while. But it is in pretty good shape. I haven't really had any issues with it and hopefully I won't. Uh, the four-wheel drive is still working well. And, uh, you know, inside, nothing too exciting. So, nothing too exciting here. So let's move on to the, oop, well, for our fireworks, it is the 4th of July. So uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so here we are. I drove my uh, sable wagon over here to uh, get one of my other cars. I think you guys will all remember this one. I just recently did a video on it. It's my 78 Cadillac Eldorado. Looking very tough right there. Anyway, so I haven't really driven this car much this summer because it was actually, I was doing that rust repair. So let's see if she starts all right. Should start pretty easy for us. Let's see here. Okay. And there she goes. This car hasn't always been the most reliable one, but it's a fun car. So hopefully I will be driving it more now that that rust has repaired. Uh, it just looked awful. This car has its own issues, so let's pull it out and uh, we'll do a little walk around and I'll tell you what we need to do with this one. Okay, so here we are. We're going to do a little walk around of the Eldorado. And uh, I'll let you know what we need to do with this and what I've been doing with it. Uh, there's some repairs that still need to be made. Anyway, i got to back up and try to get this whole thing in the shot. But as you did see my last video, I'm sure I did the rust repair uh, along this uh, quarter panel. This used to have all kinds of little rust spots all the way along here. Uh, as you can see, it is perfect again. And it is looking good. It is running fine. It does have a power steering leak, which I have to figure out. And the cruise control isn't working, but I think that's the control panel. One of the other issues this car has are the fender extensions here are starting to crack and break apart. Uh, I've kind of taped them a little bit. Uh, I'm going to order them and have those painted, and then I'll be putting those on. But... Other than being a bit dirty, which it is, unfortunately, because it's just been kicked around from shop to shop for the last couple months. Plus, I've been working on it. But uh, otherwise, it's in good shape. Okay, and for the final car, my 1991 Cadillac DeVille. I can't show it to you today because it's actually at my family's vacation home. I took it up there so I could use it when I go up there. It's doing okay. Not really having any issues, but it's it runs a little bit rough still. I can't believe it made it all the way up there, but it did. Anyway, hopefully I will have some future videos on that vehicle. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you like my content. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.